I present to you the new MC Odin 7. What? Something's missing. Oh, shit. not again. Hey guys, welcome back to the shop and welcome to the very first episode of season 2 of the CNC guitar build. And in this series, we're going to build, as I said a couple of videos ago, a headless guitar. Just for the record, I never ever built a headless guitar. I worked only a few, just two, to be honest, I worked on, so I don't have that much experience on headless guitar, which means it's going to be interesting for me to go through design process, what hardware I need, specific hardware of course, and this particular instrument is going to be a 7 string multi-scale guitar as well, so even the pickups has to be in a specific um, manner, which means humbucker uh, slanted not just normal humbucker, to accommodate the angles of the fret and on of the bridge. Because it's not really ideal to use a normal humbucker on a multi-scale instrument, because the first string and the last string, they won't really match up on the humbucker pose if you're going to put it, put the hum, the, a normal humbucker at an angle. So, the humbucker has to be slightly modified to accommodate this angle. And regarding uh, pickups, I already, with this build, I'm going with bare knuckles, bare knuckles pickups, which I already contacted them, so I know what they offer as a basic angles for this kind of uh, pickup configuration. In fact, they offer angled humbucker with various angles to accommodate every build. So at the moment, this what this is what I have regarding this build: a neck blank, which is of course a five-piece laminated neck, maple and mahogany in this case. And for the body, I'm going with this nice piece, oops, of ash. I'm going to use ash for this guitar because I want to finish airplane a few moments later as you can imagine I live near the airport well if you're in Malta everything is near the airport because everything is near each other we're small okay now as I was saying I'm going with ash with this build because I want to finish the instrument in a black satin finish and I want that open grain look on the uh, on the body. And of course, Ash is renowned for this, for its open grain construction. And yeah, that's why I'm going basically for Ash. Regarding the main feature of this guitar, of a headless guitar, the hardware, um, I've looked a couple of manufacturers. For example, Hipshot, they do, and I believe ABM as well. They do headless hardware, but I'm going, uh, well, on Facebook there is a guy called Mira Guitars, and he offers bespoke headless bars, um, tuners, uh, headpieces. I contacted him so I know what kind of models he has available and what, he, what can he suggest to me. Um, I've talked to him about making them uh, for a multi scale, he offers them as well. But basically, I just need to order them and I can go on with this build. As I said, I want to finish this body in a black satin finish, so, and that's the theme that I'm looking for a dark kind of instrument. But I'm going with gold hardware as well, so there is that kind of pristine look to it. Um, even for the frets, I'm going with the gold EVA frets from Jeskar, which complement all the hardware, all the gold hardware around it. Regarding the fretboard, well, I'm a bit, a bit, not sure whatever what I'm going to use. 
to keep for, with the dark team, I was thinking to go uh, a nice jet black ebony, but I want to add some character into the fretboard. Of course, I can do a custom inlay, and I will, but I want something live, lively from the fretboard. In fact, I was looking for white ebony instead of black ebony. White ebony tends to be um, black and white with 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 the grain going all over the place it would be it would be perfect for what i have in mind because at the moment it's just uh, plans in my in my head i don't have a design yet well i have ideas about the design but i'm waiting for the parts for the hardware um, so I can have specific dimensions and I can go on with the design. But for sure, as I said, it's going to be a multi-scale and 27 inch to 25.5 inch scale length. With the 7th fret being the natural fret, which means perpendicular to the center line of the fretboard. Now, in a future episode, I will explain and show you how I lay out this particular fretboard or any fretboard. There is a cool website, it's fret to fret 2 d if I'm not mistaken, and it's really good website for any particular fretboard. When I built my first multi-scale, which you can see it right now, I didn't know or I don't I don't think there was this website available or I didn't know at the time was it quite some time ago so I did it all with pencil ruler and paper and it was quite frustrating to get all everything to the right dimension but with this website I played a bit last night it get the job really fast and and good and accurate well, of course I do apologize in advance for the people who might have been misled by the title of this episode. In this episode there is no CNC involved or CAD or whatsoever. It's just an introduction for this build and for this series. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little introduction and for the new viewers who are watching this first episode I like to I like to welcome you to my channel and if you're enjoying what you see please considering subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be aware of my future releases and until the next time take care and goodbye